Hi everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dream channel. Today's tutorial is about how to make this wonderful Matubo bracelet called Bohold bracelet using the six zero side beads. So let's get started with the material I used. Of course, I used Matubo 60 seeds. For the whole bracelet, I used approximately 220 units of them. You have a lot of colors of them in the market and you can only check the description box below to see on our website the colors available. Then I use some O beads. Then I use thread, one millimeter leather thread or one millimeter leather cord. And then as a clasp, I use the button. You have different types of button. I recommend you to use a metal button, but you have a lot of type of buttons that you can also choose. And then pliers, oh sorry, scissors and pliers and a little a piece of straw that I will explain you how I use it. So let's get started. And here I prepare my button, my middle button is squared, but you well, you can use a round button and then 80 centimeters of cord. I recommend you to use probably if you're not sure of the size of your crystal more than 80 centimeters. So I pass I one and two times you need the same cords with both extremities inside the bottom hole. Then I scroll the bottom until the middle of the length of the both the cords once I pair them all together. And then using the piece of straw I showed you before, I will explain you how to make the first knot technique. So I couple all the cords together in this way exactly. And then I put the piece of straw just beside them. I couple it as well. And then I choose the bottom I have the the cord I have at the bottom and I start roping all the cords together and the straw as well in this way going back four turns once I finished I take the extremity and I pass it inside the straw in this way from the top toward the bottom and then by tensing by tensing it, you'll discover that I made a very, very nice sliding knot. But it's not sliding because it's stuck. But I'm going to position it just near the hole of the button. This is a very, very wonderful technique. Very nice to see on a bracelet really gorgeous so now I'm ready to start inserting all the other parts so here are the beads the colors I choose but you have a lot of colors as I said, as I said you before but in my case I choose these four and these all beads all beads are have more or less the same size here other colors as you can see with Picasso effects um, I was it is harder using black mate golden mate and bronze iris rainbow effects so I'm talking you about these beads all beads are more or less like the Matubo but they are flat, completely flat. And I am I'm mixing them in the bracelet. 
and now I start inserting Matubo 6.0. 6.0 is 4 mm. You can also choose other types. You have a lot of beads in the market. You can also opt to choose Miyuki, Toho, Preciosa, or the other type. But Matubo seeds have um, a big advantage that the hole, the diameter of the inner hole, is the higher, is more than 1.5 millimeters. So you can pass even a uh, biggest diameter of the leather cord or use another type of cord, of course. So now I'm inserting them in it. And this is the first row. I finish it with a OB. And then now by only making a very simple overhand knot, I will get all them inside it and avoid to lose them. And now I have to do the same with our cord. But of course I will use other colors. Here, using white, then the third one. For the third, I'm going to use Ematite and for the fourth black and here you are the bracelet as you can see I mixed the old beads in it and then you can make the another hole to hold them all together the technique of that knot will be the same as the knot that we did before the first knot using the piece of straw so I, bo I join both extremities together, but first I have to open the overhand knots I did to hold the beads inside the cords. And I couple the four cords together, I take the piece of straw and then choosing this one the bottom but you can also use another one I start warping again going back for approximately three or four turns then I pass the extremity inside the straw and by tensing them I will be able to position the whole knot near very close to the latest bits I inserted So tense the cord and push them on the left. And here you are. Now I, um, I have to build the loop that I will be that will be used as a closure. So uh, from this knot depending on the size of the button I choose, I have to leave one centimeter and then I have to make another another identical knot using the same technique. This loop will be used as a closure. So I take the knot, oh, sorry, I join both cords together again, I start roping them together again and then I insert the extremity inside the strove from the top toward the bottom and by tensing it I got my wonderful knot again And here you are.
what we have to do now. I have one, two, three, four cords. Mm, you can cut them, but I prefer to use them to make four ornaments for our bracelet. So I follow inserting a few beads in it, mixing them between Matubo and Obis. And then once I inserted these five beads, I will make a whole oh, a knot again using only one cord and a piece of straw, of course. Using the second knee. Look at this. One, two, three times is enough, and then I pass the extremity inside the straw. Take the straw away and then I have to tense and roll and shift and push toward left the knot and done. And this is the first ornament. So I'm able to cut the cord just after the knot I just done. I just did. So I repeated the same technique on the fourth chord. Now I take my scissors and I cut the chord who left. One, two, three, and four. And of course I got my wonderful bracelet. Look, I'm able to open and close it using this space I left between these two knots. Very, very nice technique, very, very economic technique. You have not to buy a special closure. Uh, metal buttons are very, very nice to see. It is the colors. I mixed them now. I did, I made others too. I will show you the colors that I used. This using Picasso colors blue, turquoise and red and a metal round button and then another one using a bronze metal round button and gold made. Okay, thank you for watching. I encourage you to try and make your own. See you next time. Happy beating and bye bye.